Who's ready for a late night video? I'm ready for a late night video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and D. My name is Carrie and today, tonight, whatever time it is you're watching this, uh, we're going to take a look at my fountain pen collection. I'm going to put a little asterisk on the top of that uh, because whilst it is <laughs> my collection as it stands right now. Uh, there are actually a bunch of pens uh, that are not going to be shown today uh, that I have destined to be sold. Uh, and that you will actually see in the new year. My aim is by the second to third week of January. Uh, I'm going to have that out uh, as a big big haul essentially of things uh that I am going to be selling to you fine folks um probably for YouTube uh you will see that video on about the third week of January uh if you are a supporter of mine on Patreon uh you will see that on the second week of January uh because I will be giving my Patreon members one week advanced access um so <laughs> Everything you're gonna see here today uh, will be pens that I am keeping. At least I'm about 95% certain. I'm 99.999999% certain on the vast majority of these. I may change my mind, potentially one or two more others. Who knows, that's my prerogative. Uh, I am wearing my Christmas 2020, uh, the one where we were quarantined top, because why not? Uh, it is December 23rd after all. So, as Phoebe would say, Happy Christmas Eve, Eve. Let's jump into it. All right. This camera really picks up all of the crap on my desk. I don't know what these are, but I can't get them up, so you're just stuck staring at it. It's a very old desk. Uh, so this is my drawer of randomness uh, that I like to call it. So it's where I keep, you know, just kind of my quote-unquote junky pens. Uh, so my preppies, the Gin House Shark. Uh, these are, you know, the pens that I'm basically going to destroy eventually one way or the other. I mean, this one had Bay State Blue in it. This one had Platinum Carbon Black. This one's, I don't know. Yeah. This one had a bunch of red different sparkly ink, so it's stained. Uh, and then the rest of my dip nibs. And then this one is a uh, felty pen type stuff. So spare, spare nib. Just random random uh stuff in in that uh and then my glass dip pen uh so that's just sort of like a random sort of fountain penny sort of not fountain penny drawer uh that i will push aside then i have these little sleeves that i keep them all in um i of course have them in a drawer uh this i've actually double stacked because i have now more uh, sleeves then I have pens because I'm trying really hard not to have so many <laughs> but it's easier said than done uh, so normally these are organized a little bit better uh, but things got a little sidetracked um, so these are my pilots um, which I've just realized now there's another thing that I'm gonna have to show you because actually I have my currently inked pens that also has a pilot uh, which is this guy and this guy. The rest that are currently inked, wow, this is a really strong clip, are not mine. All right, so here, <laughs> here's my collections of my Pilot pens. Um, so the Metropolitan E95S, two custom 823s, one custom 74, one Pilot Falcon, nope, not Pilot Falcon, I'm just looking at the Falcon nib. Uh, 912, this just happens to have the Falcon nib with an Ebonite feed. Um, and then these are my Pilots. Um, eventually I do wanna pick up a couple more 74s. I know the prices is, are going up in January, but finances are tight, so. <laughs> I do really though wanna get like the Blue Stone one uh, and the Forest Green because they are beautiful. Uh, and then I have one sailor. This is uh, the regular Pro Gear size. Um, absolutely adore it. Love the color. Uh, I have one Lamy 2000. Um, if you watched my collection last year, you would know that I had multiple because uh, I also had the blue Bauhaus and I had the brown 
uh, one as well, but I've since sold both of those because the only one I really use is the OG, and I figure I really need to stop having pens that I don't use very often, <laughs> if ever. Uh, this one, admittedly, uh, this Pelican M805 Straussman, Straussman, however you want to pronounce it, uh, is also one that I don't use very often. Uh, it's a fine nib, but it really writes like almost like a broad. Um, the reason why I haven't quite gotten rid of it yet is because every once in a while, I really like to bust this one out. And I always have a good time when I use it. It's just I prefer finer nibs. Um, and this one does have the clear barrel in between the stri uh, stripes, which Pelican does not make anymore. Um, and it's also the very first pen that I ever bought at a pen show in Toronto. So it's kind of sentimental. I don't want to get rid of it. Potentially one day I might take it to a Nibmeister, even though this writes phenomenally, I might take it to a Nibmeister to have it ground down. Uh, then I have another Pelican. Uh, this is the 200 uh, in brown, I guess. I don't know exactly. It's a fine nib. Uh, I like it quite a bit, um, but I do need to pay a little bit of attention to the, the tines because I think they are slightly, slightly misaligned. Um, and then I have a Diplomat Arrow. This is the only Diplomat pen I own currently. Uh, it is a newer purchase that I have yet to do a review on, but every other pen here I have done a full review. Should you want to check that out, uh, feel free. Uh, but this is the only one that I haven't done yet, but will be doing very, very soon. This is the, a new, new purchase specifically for this channel. Uh, and again, big shout out to those who support me on Patreon because I can't buy pens without you. <laughs> so we will move this tray aside and, oh, sorry guys. Slide in another tray that I know you're all gonna be like, of course we knew this was coming. And that is my obsession with Benu fountain pens. So we have my Bennu Briolette, uh, which I bought in January uh, for my birthday. Fun fact, it's also when I bought this one. Um, and it is probably one of my favorite pens uh, of all time. Uh, in fact, spoiler, there's gonna be a top five video coming soon. <laughs> and this is one of them. Uh, and then I have three talismans. Uh, so I have Dream Bean, Edelweiss, and Venus Hair. Uh, these are This is the reason why I, I quaffled a little bit in the beginning about pens that I'm going to sell. Believe it or not, despite my obsession with Bennu pens, uh, I am thinking of selling potentially two of them. Uh, again, I'm just trying really hard not to have too many pens. This one is 100% keeper. I love all three of these. It's just I only ever really have one inked up at a time. Uh, and then I have three Euphoria models. I have the original in bourbon, uh, which I do will not be selling uh, because I absolutely love it. And this is the pen that changed the game for me with Bennu. Uh, and then I have the pomegranate, um, which I actually just recently cleaned out. Uh, I had Mont Blanc red chalk in there. Uh, and then this beautiful pen uh, is one of their hand-painted models, if this will focus. No? Okay. Um, it is simply, simply stunning. I absolutely love putting Pilot Konpeki, Pilot Iroshizuku Konpeki in here uh, because it is a stunning, stunning, stunning combination. Uh, I don't want to let any of those go. In fact, I'm hoping that by Boxing Day, uh, there will still be, um, no, not Boxing Day, sorry, sorry, my birthday, which is in January. Uh, I'm hoping that there will still be the Bennu Euphoria at Earl Grey at Goulet Pens, um, because I do want to purchase that, and I'm hoping I can sell two of these to cover the cost of that, or two of the other ones. Anyway, regardless. <laughs> Then I have a Jinhao X159 pen, which is one of my all-time popular videos uh, that I have done and I did when I was in shape but <laughs> last year. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a hard year, guys. I've put on a lot of weight. Um, but that's sidetracking. Um, about uh, 
like probably the most important pen you'll ever buy and it's this one um i won't go into it because i go into it in that video and if you want to see me in better shape when i actually like myself hey there you go all right mental health uh and then we get into all of my <laughs> quebeco sports um i have a whole lot more of them um but these are the three that i'm going to be keeping um because i like them the most um this is the pen i usually actually have inked up this time of year uh with diamine polar glow um, because it's one of my favorite combinations uh, but I have a few pens right now that are inked up for review purposes and I try not to have too many inked up because I don't want to have to clean them later um, but of course again if you know me you know my obsession with Caveco Sports uh, I have a whole bunch more uh, that I will be listing for sale because I don't need this many Caveco Sports because um, I'm addicted, but you know. <laughs> and then we're gonna come to this tray. This is a tray of some of the pens that I've had the longest. A um, few of mine in the first tray I've had for quite a while too, but this pen here is the Platinum Century 3776. Uh, this is the first gold nib pen I ever had. Uh, this is a fine nib. And it's not one that I have inked up all the time because it is very, very fine. Uh, but when I do, I like to ink it up with Diatramentus Cola. And it is one of my favorite pens for sentimental reasons. I absolutely adore uh, the way that the um, heart shape in the nib works there. It's just simply stunning. Um, and I just adore it. And I will never, never let it go. Uh, I have bought many other uh, centuries, but I've sold them and just kept the original. Then another pen that I don't use very often because I have to be in the mood for this one. This is the Noodler's Triple Tail. Uh, and it's called a Triple Tail because it has three tines. Um, super flexy, super broad. Not really practical because I don't calligraphy write or anything, but every once in a while, I just want to have fun. Just want to have fun with my pens and not write for practicality. Uh, and then my Aurora Optimas. Um, again, if you've been with me for many, many years, you would know that at one point I had like nine of them, um, but I have since pared down my collection to these three. I have thought about selling these three many times, <laughs> but just couldn't. Um, so I think that these will be with me forever. This pen uh, was the first pen I ever bought that was custom ground by Nibs. Um, well, it was Nib Smith, um, but it was it's a medium nib that was ground to a medium fine and made super smooth and super wet. Um, and then these two uh, have just the be most beautiful color ever, first of all. Um, and I just, yeah, I, I, I just love them so much. Again, I don't use them a ton, a ton, mostly because they're, harder to clean out ish I mean you can kind of take them apart um but I just I have so many pens I have so many pens I'm blessed what can I say uh and then the Twisby Diamond 580 ALR done many many videos on Twisbys uh but I quite like this one two Leonardo fountain pens uh again if you watched my video last year you would know that I had bunch more um i have two other size like this uh one of which i still have that you will notice for sale uh, and i had multiple grandes but have since sold them as well um because i prefer this size so i have the music mu muke musicao or however you want to pronounce that uh, with the elastic fine nib um, i simply adore this material um, and then the uh, spaghetti models with like the resin lines here uh with um uh prugna is what it's called <laughs> and i really i i love putting in this one um diamine writer's blood it's just dynamite ha 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 um <laughs> two visconti homo sapiens um the midnight in florence and arizona sunset uh these ones i've i flip and love um they are a bit of a pain in the booty hole to clean out from time to time, uh, but I love them quite a bit. Uh, this one was actually one of the most disappointing pens I've ever purchased in my whole life. Made a video about that as well, uh, because the nib wrote terribly. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I sent it to Emmy from Penventure and he took care of it. 
Um, this one is the palladium nib. This one's a gold nib. I'm thinking potentially about doing a video about those two, um, but I just never quite did it because it was like, you can't really buy palladium anymore. So yeah. Uh, and then I have a Mont Blanc 146 size pen. Uh, this is the Aviator um, or La Planet or something. I can't remember exactly what it's called right now off the top of my head, but it's one of the Le Petit Prince models. Um, again, I had the blue one. I have since sold that. Uh, I will likely, don't hold me to it people, but I will likely be listing that as well. Uh, and then I have my very first Kickstarter, my very first uh, Arushi pen. This is uh, Wancher's Dream Pen in Arushi with a red ebonite feed and a gold nib. Um, this pen is one that has been with me ever since Wancher started you know, their Kickstarter campaign many, many, many years ago. Uh, it was well, I guess, no, it wasn't the first Kickstarter I ever supported. I think it was actually the second, but it was definitely uh, a gamble to do. And I'm glad that the one that I have works really well. Uh, they did go through some issues for quite a while, figuring out the ink flow uh, problems with Ebonite feeds. But uh, I got a good one here. Um, and I've done many, many, many Wancher pen reviews. Uh, thanks to Wancher themselves for sending me some stuff. Um... What else? Oh, I have one other glass pen that's kind of just in this container here. Uh, and that, my friends, my family, is my entire fountain pen collection. So that, you guys, is my 2023 fountain pen collection. Um, thank you for supporting me this year. Stay tuned. I do have a few videos coming up. I have my uh, ink collection for 2023, uh, as well as my top five uh, favorite pens, favorite slash most used even, <laughs> fountain pens of 2023. Um, I will also be potentially doing that as well for ink. So let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to talk about my top five most used inks for 2023. Um, I stayed pretty loyal to like four or five colors this year. Usually I go crazy on ink samples, but I also reined that in. Um, so I had to rely on my own ink bottles this year. <laughs> First world problems. Um, so let me know if you want to see that. Um, I will also be doing, like I mentioned before, the uh, pen sale video in January. Uh, if you do want to check out uh, my Patreon account, which is in the link below, uh, that will be um, listed one week earlier for all of the paid tiers. Um, there's a free tier if you want to check it out, but the, only the paid tiers will have the one week access. Everyone else will have YouTube a week later. Um, what else do I have coming up? Oh, I have a few pens that are in here um, that will be uh, getting reviewed very shortly, uh, as well, of course, that Diplomat you saw already that will have a review coming up soon. So hit the like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of those. Um, for the most part, new videos come out every Monday and Friday. Um, and uh, yeah, hit that like button, hit the subscribe check out the links, all the things that every YouTuber has to say that I can never remember if I've said them or not. But either way, I'll see you guys next time. Again, thank you for supporting me this year, and I'll see you later. Bye.